Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bracelet. So it's not actually a figure, it's a bracelet. And uh, I'm making it a child size, but I'll also show you how you can extend it so that you can make it larger if you need to. So we're going to make it on a single loom and it's going to be in an offset position and that means columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. You're going to need green bands for the actual color of your turtle and then whatever color you decide for his bandana and also I use them as his armbands and to tie off with. So I'm going to choose purple this time to do mine and you're going to need some mini pony beads. I'm using black mini pony beads for his eyes and also a clip of some sort to close your bracelet at the end. So let's get started. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them over the pegs at the same time as if they were one. Your arrow is facing towards you. If you don't have an arrow, your open side of the peg is facing towards you. All right, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to move to purple for his bandana. And then back to my dark green again. If your bands look a bit twisted, I just tend to move my hook along the inside of them just to untwist them. That seems to work quite nicely. And go up for his chin like this. Push these down. Now, across here, we're going to take a purple band, a single one, figure eight, loop it on itself, and we're going to put that across those those uh, pegs in the shape of a triangle like that. I'm going to thread a purple bead onto a purple bead, a, my beads onto a purple band. Gosh, if I could talk it would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to stretch those over like that for there. I'm going to put a green band, one across here, but I'm not looping it on itself, and another green band here. Okay, again, not looped, that's just a single band stretched out. I'm putting an end cap here, which is a single band. Figure eight it twice. I'm going to pop that there on there. Now, I'm going to do some layers, but instead of doing layers, because I want to put his bandana here as well, I'm going to just do an extension. So taking a single band, wrap it around your hook once, twice, three times and we're going to take a pair of green and slide those on like that. Move that into the middle and reclaim your bands. We're going to do that again and this is to give him little chubby turtle cheeks and we're going to place this on this peg here at the bottom of where we start our purple. Okay. Now I use a finer crochet hook because I'm going to poke my hook inside where we have that end cap and I'm going to stretch it and that's going to go here on that peg there. Let's do the same on the other side. A single band, wrap it once, twice, three times, slide it onto a double band, reclaim the end of your bands and then take a pair and slide that on and if you remember we're going to put the first ones here like that 
and then with a hook slide down the end cap stretch it out and it is going to fall off your hook um, <laughs> happens quite often don't worry <laughs> we're going to slide that onto here like that okay sorry it's a bit tricky for me to show you how to do it there we are now we're also going to put the arms of our bracelet down here so still we're doing two bands at a time double banding two either side another two purple two and that's sort of indicative of his armbands I mean they're not armbands but you know and then back to our green And that's our last one for green. Now I'm going to tie it off with a purple band, stretch it, and do a figure eight twice around your fingers, and we'll pop that there. Now this is if we were doing a child bracelet. If you want to make this longer, what you're going to do is take a single band, wrap it around your hook twice, take two bands, so that acts as your end cap, take two bands and slide on as if you're doing feet and then you just keep adding two bands for however extra long you want it so you see this would go on here and it would make it longer okay so that would give you three extra in length and then you would add it by popping it on here like that and then you wouldn't need an end cap because you already did the end cap here you would just start by pulling it back and looming that one up. But I'm doing this for a child, so I'm just going to put an end cap here, which will be my purple, like that. Okay, now we also need to do the purple bandana for our little chappy here. So I'm going to take a single purple, single purple band, wrap it round three times. I'm going to take a pair of purple slide that on you sort of want it in the middle and then you reclaim the end now you put as many purple on as you want length of the bandana I don't want it to be too hugely long but I also don't want it to be too short so that's my third pair, maybe I'll do five pair. This is my fourth pair. And one more pair is my fifth pair. And I'm going to put that on the same peg as the eyes. So just up here is where I'm going to put that. Okay, we are ready to start looming. Dig down past your purple end cap and grab the two green bands. Hold your purple end cap so it doesn't flick off the loom. And we're going to loom up. Just until we get to here. Let's do the other side. Can you see what I'm doing? Loom up. Now I'm not going to do a video on all of the different colours of this because all you do is change the colour to the one that you want. 
Okay, when we get to here, what we're going to do is loom these ones up. And now we're going to loom the chin. Okay, so go down past your end cap. Grab the two bands that are on the top and loom to their corresponding side. Now for me it was the left and now it's going to be the right and I'm going to loom the middle one up as well just for good measure. Now I'm going to take my extension off my loom and hold it out to the side with one hand. Dig down, you've got to dig down past all of these bands to find the last two, the bottom two that are there and we're looming those up. Then we're replacing those bands from the extension back on to here. We're going to loom the purple up and the next the green up like that. So I'm going to take my extension out to the side and hold it with my fingers I'm going to dig down and find those bottom two green bands and I'm going to loom them up to the peg above. I'm going to take my extension back onto my hook and we're going to place that back onto that peg there. We're going to then dig down to find the two bottom purple bands and loom them up and then here two green bands and loom up. We'll do the middle row next and now we just have to loom these two sides one there and one there. We're going to take two green bands to tie off with. Dig your hook down the middle here and out the side. Place your two bands on and twist your hook so the back side of it goes against those bands and doesn't snag anything. Push your hook, your bands to the outside of this peg. Reclaim your bands and the two closest to you are going to go up, over and off and you're going to pull tight into a slip knot. We're ready to take our ninja off. But first what I'm going to do is take my, I'm using a, a Q-clip, sorry, not a C-clip. I'm going to attach that to this leg here, just like that. I'm gently going to ease this off the loom. Now I'm going to take the one that I have the clip off and I'm going to just make sure that it's not twisted in any way. And I'm going to come under here and link this one to it here and clip that in together. I now have my bracelet linked. Let's look at my eyes and my chubby cheeks. it's better this way. There we go, there's his little chubby cheeks and his eyes and his bandana and we're going to hide these two loops at the back here. We're going to dig down, actually I'll use a different hook, one that has a hookier hook. I'm going to grab those bands and just gently ease them back through so that I can discreetly hide them at the back here. There we go, there's through one set. Let's find another. There we are. Now you don't want to pull them so tight that you're beginning to distort the top of his head but you do sort of want to hide them. You could also use a C-clip, an S-clip, a Q-clip at the back here, but I'm quite confident this is tied quite tightly with a slip knot 
and I've just hidden them. And there we have a little ninja bracelet. I look forward to seeing yours. Take care. Bye-bye.